episode two. So, how'd it go w out there? Oh, yeah, by the the way, match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. Off so, I left off on my uh, great. Last what do you chalk that up to? I thought face. Or maybe it's just stuffed. Funny, all right, quick, quick, some. Well, I have to make a new character. All right, so my game was bugged. I had to make a new character. I was joining that evolution, doing the mission. I was doing the move they told me to do, but that shit still wasn't working, so. Had to get that shit off. Make a new, do, uh, you know. So sick. It's the new character, and I'm gonna team up with uh, MVP this time. I ain't gonna join and do it, cause the same shit might happen, and I'm not gonna do that. You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off screen and on. Just like you, I was strong willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the Click and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea. Is this because of the LA? It's not. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here. Okay. If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, Get it. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? A lot, actually. He's been a success both inside the ring and out. Sounds like MVP's gotten to you already. But I know he's a... So, why are you getting it? I enjoyed what I had in our... Interesting. I'll be the best. You don't I can't win. make it... I'm skipping the... I've heard enough. And Good. No, I, I did not want to do... <laughs> I did not want to join Evolution. I was trying to skip it, so I hope they let me. Uh, so I hope I don't get stuck on this shit again. Yeah, 
that's on hard, by the way. I ain't put it on legendary because I just started playing the game. But I'm gonna put it on legendary after the episode. I might change my move to my finish. One, two, that's it, it's over. It's over. Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to sh- Randy hasn't always been the most trustworthy person in the past, so I'd be an idiot not to keep my guard up. But I'm hoping he's changed. Would it be safer to just rely on myself? Yeah, but I'm trying to trust the process. Any clue? Randy hasn't told me anything. I get. Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed Evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw and they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. Okay. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you... You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want... Don't worry. 
After this match, I'll be... It's two-thirds of Evolution ready for tag team action. The following is a triple threat tag team match. And it's full. And at a combined weight of 610 pounds, Omos and Carm. The new look Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with Gabriel Slade to challenge the Street Profits for their Raw Tag Team titles. And they'll have to go through a Moss and Carmelo Hayes while they're at it to walk away as tag champs. I can't remember seeing this much talent in one ring in a long time. Well, Saxton clearly has the memory of a goldfish, but he's right. This triple threat tornado tag match is as stacked as it gets. And I, for one, can't wait to see if Randy Orton's new evolution lives up to the hype. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Hellacious power slam. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Spear! That was vicious. <laughs> I honestly can't believe he just saw a human being tossed like that. He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. Power slam. Good. Night. Oh, look at this. Here's a pin for the title. Save! Uh oh, still got more fight here. Tough position to be caught in here. And there was some force on that move. Ooh, on knee left. Oh, a big boot. This is right, foot. Look at this athleticism. Whoa! That hurt. The challenger eating up some damage. And all the impact brought to the knee. Got to find a way to get out of this. Down across the knee. That won't just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Flashback. Rip it at the eyes. That was showing great awareness of positioning. Placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Go behind. Jordan, nine. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. A Donald stretch. It's locked in. This is a great win. And he breaks the hold. Oh! Super kick! Oh! It's a no kick driver! Oh, he retaliates. Oh, a kick to the side of the face. Watch out! They're coming towards you now. Oh, new champ! Champion avoids the two count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Close line. TKO. Ooh. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. Jordan, nine. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Single leg takedown. He could be looking for the single. For the championship. Remarkable power being shown here. And you imagine using his leg strength to escape. And the champ gets free and won. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. And Omas pays for leaving an opening. Hey, still clear of that. Counters. Imagine getting that look from Omas and deciding you actually want to keep going. 
That is not me. What a punch. Oh, what a right hook. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear oh, up. Including yeah, us. Really a a jumping TKO. Slade plotting here. Solid punch. Locks on coming. He had it scouted. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Gonna see a new champ. Ooh, tough with the suplex. The lock is focused on finishing this. Super kill. Gosh. The title might change hands. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Evolution looking to capture tag team gold. Omos has other plans. The Intercontinental Champion is doing everything in this power to counter. No, Omos is just too strong. The new Hurt Business looks to walk out as champions. Montez Ford with the frog splash out of nowhere. Everyone is laying it on the line. Spear from Dawkins. And after all that chaos, the Street Profits retain their Raw Tag Team Championships. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold, but ultimately, the champions' experience teaming together prevailed. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. But what's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title. Sure. <laughs> It's the man who might transform WWE forever, The Lock. The following contest is a handicap match. It well, Saxton. <laughs> The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind, maybe? A, a terrible bet? 
Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. Kick! One, two, boom, three! Exclamation oh. point! Able to avoid any harm there. Got him up. Yushi Garoshi neckbreaker. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Boom! Oh. Can't lift anyone at that shoulder. It keeps getting worked on. He skirts around it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And he's able to reverse. Ooh, harsh kick. Oh, the jaw getting rattled. Sharp knee to the body. And Montez Ford finds himself on the defensive. Yeah, Ford's having trouble fighting back. Jarring impact. Boom. Uh-oh. Answering back. Ford weathered the storm and is looking to rain down some damage of his own. Oh, man, that was nasty. And Taz was expecting that. Ford out of DDT! Talk about devastation. Up across the shoulders. TKO! And the kibosh being put on Montez Ford there. Yeah, but at this point in a handicap match, you have to expect some lasting damage. Considering the situation, things could be far worse. Kick to the midsection. Could be looking for something big to end this match. This might do it from way up high. Last ride, power bomb. Nothing Montez can do now. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Fights the shoulder up in one. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. The springboard attack fails to land. Oh, what a back fist. Knee right to the face. Oh, look at this. TKO! Thank oh, goodness oh. for the teammate. Not Just quite in time. And Locke got turned around there. A bit of psychological warfare from Angelo Dawkins here. Big knee to the midsection. And the lock's maintaining the advantage now. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Turns it around. That should do it right there. He wasted no time kicking out there. How did he do that? This press and the piston-like right hands. Brutality. Both wrists captured. And that was nasty. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, God, that hurt. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stomps. The stomp in every single part of his body. And Ford's resolve might be wavering here. Somehow Montez has to turn the tide. Return fire from Dawkins. He got tired of being pushed around and wants to gain the advantage now. Oh, and a disc is closed line. 
their head off. Good grief! The upper hand now belongs to Locke. The Locke isn't holding anything back. And there are signature wins. This much. Chat, we're going to end it right here. That's it. We'll be back episode three.